we're at a time in the market where we're, we are running at all-time highs. And I think a lot of people, specifically a lot of investors, are questioning, what in the world are we supposed to do right now <clears throat> with stocks at all-time highs? Are we due for recession? What's going to happen? Should I quit and sell out all my stock? What's What should we do here? So I'm going to kind of go ahead and uh, argue against all of the fear-mongering that goes with selling um, for recession. So my personal opinion as far as uh, investments go, I do dollar cost averaging, and when I see big dips, I tend to put in more than usual. So <clears throat> for the most part, I use the strategy of just investing over time the same amount every single week, month, whatever it might be, putting the same amount of money in, and slowly but surely changing the dollar cost average of the stocks I hold. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. And I think there's many reasons why I suggest that. So if you were one of the people who is a market timer, is what I would suggest another, another method is. So these people that try to time the market are people that only invest uh, during a time of recession. So they wait for a recession or a major dip, um, something like a correction even, and that is when they put all, a lump sum of money in. So my real counter to that is going to be that no one can time the market. Let's just be frankly honest. I think we can have a, a good chance of having a broad expectation of what the market will do over a certain period of time, several years potentially. Uh, but there's no guaranteed way of actually knowing when we are going to uh, have a have a you know downturn in the market. There's no guaranteed way. We're at a time in which we have so much going against us right now, from conflict in the Middle East to disease, world spread disease. But and a trade war, a trade freaking war. But the market just doesn't care. Um, so if you're someone timing the market, and there are people that called for recession in 2019, there's some analysts that went and said upwards of 50% chance in 2019 there was going to be a recession. You've got Warren Buffett with his largest cash holdings ever that he's ever had in terms of percentage. I mean, he's carrying 30-something percent of his equity in cash, which he's never done. But because of that, if I'm going to look just from the start of 2019 onward, let's see, uh, which again is going to be hard to necessarily pinpoint, but this is a time when the market went upwards of 25 to 30 percent in that time frame. So, because you were afraid of a recession or a downturn in the market, you didn't put in that money and you missed out on an extra 30 percent gain you could have had. And there's people that have been calling recession since 2018, to be fair. So if you were a market timer, you were waiting, you sold out early, um, and you could have sold out your stock for sure, and you decided, well, I'm going to sell out my stock because I don't want to face the fears you know, of recessions. You've missed out on, let's say, since 2018, you said you sold out because you thought there was going to be a worse downturn when in December there was a huge downturn. Let's say you gave it a little bit of time. Over a two-year period, I mean, what, what do you want? What more do you want besides a 30% gain um, over a two-year period? Over a one-year period, really. 30% gain in a one-year period. Overall, in a two-year period, um, we saw a little bit of a correction. This thing's still up 22% since that correction. So over that time, you missed an annualized 11% a year in terms of gains in two years because you were afraid because of that slight downturn, we were headed towards a recession. And that's why I enjoy the dollar cost, uh, dollar cost, 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 averaging aspect of it because it keeps you in the market the entire time. And whereas, again, you might not necessarily get the same gain um, per position that you might get uh, <clears throat> overall, uh, if you were to maybe like invest when a particular stock super low, you get your position entirely built up then and there. You might not necessarily make the same gain on that position, but over a long period of time, you certainly will. Over time, the markets will always go up, and timing-wise, you'll miss it out. So this 30% that we gained in the past year, well, think about it. Is there really going to be a time in which you see 
over the long run that the market's actually going to go down a 30% period for a long period of time. So let's look at um, the recession in 2008. So let's let's go from the high point of around 13,000. So we saw a market downturn of around 45 something percent. But if you had been investing since, well, again, and this is a wild one. It's hard to even compare to 2008 because that is the Great Recession. That was a nightmare. Um, if you were investing since 2003, so a five-year period, you were only really down 9% in that. But if you waited and you thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I don't foresee recession. You bought in a lot here. You were down a lot more. Uh, but if you dollar cost averaged, and then once this period comes, and then you go ahead and add more to your positions when you see this dip, well, then you're going to see a 50% increase over a, a period of 10 years, first off. But really, it should be more because of the fact by that dollar cost averaging here from this recession dip, you're making a lot more. Um, because from that dip, you're actually up a solid from that 2000, 2013 point, you're up 100%. So I believe in in investing, obviously, a lot more when you see those big dips. But I think dollar cost averaging is just a better way to go because it keeps you in the market in the meantime. You earn a lot more in terms of dividend that way. If you're a dividend investor, it's better than to sell out of stock, just frankly is. And overall, if you're doing that dollar cost averaging um, and you invest during big dips, in the long run, you do get a better return. That's just frankly how it is. Uh, instead of trying to time the market in which you could miss out on you know, uh, several periods worth of gains, um, even from a five-year basis, you're trying to time the market waiting for a recession because you think we should have had a recession since 2017. Well, the market's gone up 61% since then. And the next recession we have likely won't even cause a 61% dip. I highly doubt it. Maybe 30% max. So you missed out on at least 30% um, dip because you thought since 2017 we'd have a recession or 2018, um, in which you saw a 20 something percent change in price, you know? Um, which, overall, I could have been earning dividends over that two year period as well. And that's income paid back to me. I think it's best to um, dollar cost average just for several reasons. I, I just I think that's the best investment strategy, even with looming recession fears still consistent. Even though unemployment's at record lows consistently, GDP has slowed a little bit. I still think regardless, if I hit a recession, I'm okay with it because it'll give me a higher chance to just to buy more stock and lower my dollar cost average. That may have gone up over the past couple of years because I've still been investing in those stocks. And there's a couple positions that I don't want to invest in right now because I think they're a little too high and they're staying stagnant. Um, and once that comes a time when we do find a dip, I'll be reinvesting in those again. Uh, just because I'm so high up on the positions, um, I'm okay with where I'm at right now. And I don't want to sell because I get dividend on them too. So uh, I think selling stock should never be the case unless it's a company that is essentially – not a good investment from the most part uh, or for the most part if you're investing in good quality companies through a dollar cost averaging strategy you're gonna have no no concerns but if you're investing in a lot of speculative companies that could essentially die down during a recession and completely just be eviscerated well that's that's where the mistake lies um, so investing in good quality companies really is a good way to just beat the market no matter what happens. It's just how you do well. Um, do a lot of research and just never be scared to invest. Never be scared to invest. Um, you earn money. That, that's frankly, you have to have money, make money or have money to make money. That's one philosophy, but you don't make that money unless you're investing it. Investing is the best way for people to make money besides their, their main you know job, obviously, but it's the, the best way to increase that money exponentially. So that's my philosophy on it. Don't be afraid of a recession. It's better to have your money in the market now and just consistently have it in the market instead of selling out on stock. Don't sell stock. 
have it in there. If they're good companies, you're not going to need to sell them over the long term, besides maybe several tens of years out. So that's my opinion for you. Um, if you disagree, I certainly understand. And if you have another opinion to me, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know how you see it. Um, I just I hate fear when it comes to investing, so that's my opinion. I uh, hope you enjoyed.